In Saskatchewan, you're probably used to seeing fields of gold. But what about purple? And no, I'm not talking about flax. This may be your first time hearing about purple wheat, but it's found in a range of products, including breads, pastas, and alcohol. All right, here we go. Purple wheat vodka. It has a lot of richness to it, like almost, like definitely like a either coffee or chocolatey kind of richness to yeah. it. Researchers at the University of Saskatchewan first started developing a purple wheat variety for the prairies in the 1990s. Originally, they thought it would work well for feed or ethanol production, but later focused on its potential as a food ingredient. It was officially registered for use by farmers in 2012. It's mostly grown around Saskatoon, but you might not be able to spot it. A field of purple wheat has only a slight tinge of color up close, but the grain is a different story. It's just a real dark, dark purple. If you look at it in a sample, I mean, you, you know right away you can pick a kernel out in 10,000 kernels just right away. But it's not just a cool color. Farming purple wheat can mean more money. There's a discount for growing it because it's a special purpose wheat, and it yields about 15% more than other varieties. Its color has turned out to be valuable in more ways than one, though. The purple hue comes from pigments known as anthocyanins. They are powerful antioxidants found in fruits and vegetables like beets and Saskatoon berries. Researchers with AgriFood Canada found that eating foods with purple wheat can reduce inflammation, and it's better than regular wheat at lowering glucose in the blood. So what can you find purple wheat in? The night oven bakery mills purple wheat into flour. When the bread comes out of the brick oven, it's still purple. With uh, natural coloring, you never know if the heat is going to degrade the coloring in the final product, like with beets or things like that, that sometimes translate and sometimes don't. And so we were really excited when we cut open to it and it actually became this nice purple product in, in the end. The color has customers scrambling for it whenever it's available. All right, so uh, I'm here uh, testing out purple bread. Kind of looks like it should taste like grapes. Oh, lovely. I don't taste the purple, but uh, I definitely do taste like a nice kind of like hearty kind of prairie bread, almost like a rye, so to speak. Like it's really nice. The color makes it more enjoyable. <laughs> it's very healthy tasting. <laughs> I'm not used to having bread like be like sort of magenta-y, but uh, it tastes really good. I was imagining purple bread is gonna have this like totally different flavor or or texture or taste but it kind of just tastes like like a good artisanal bread like a good bread purple wheat is also used in cookies and multi-grain crackers the grain has gotten the most attention in southeast asia where it's been very popular in noodle products infraready products has done most of the marketing for purple wheat it says more purple wheat is exported than is used within canada other countries and other companies read the science uh, which is very positive and, and encourages them to do the product development and then, you know, take it to the market. But some purple wheat products are gaining steam in Saskatchewan. Stumbletown Distilling now has two vodkas made from 100% purple wheat. The original vodka is clear. It loses its color as it's being made. The creators yeah. say it's the first in the world. The tasting room and merchandise were clearly influenced by the grain, but it wasn't so much the color that led the company to picking purple wheat. For them, it's more about supporting local farmers. That's one of our top values is that we support local and we try to keep source everything as close to home as possible. Once people hear the story and realize they're using local grain, they're even more encouraged to buy. It's still a niche crop, but experts are working on expanding purple wheat's market, with a new variety being developed to make better bread and potential for skincare and cosmetic products. Let your imagination go wild. You know, why not uh, puff purple wheat breakfast cereal? Why not uh, purple wheat fish crackers? You know, why not purple wheat pasta made in Saskatchewan? You know, all these things are possible. It just takes the courage to try. Alex Saladuka, CBC News, Saskatoon.